Hey guys, uh, Bobby Rio here with Rob Judge, and in today's video, we're going to sort of dispel a major myth uh, about dating advice. Um, all the advice there is is dead wrong, and the reason it's dead wrong is because it focuses on the wrong thing. Almost all the uh, dating advice you'll stumble across is focused on getting a woman to like you. And because of that, men get in front of a woman and they start thinking, how can I show her I have a lot in common with her? How can I you know, show her how funny I am? How agreeable I am? Oh, uh, you know, you like that too? Oh, I like that too. And you know, the, the common advice is look for commonalities. And because of that, that's our, our mind. Our mind is in overdrive of looking to get a woman to like you. If I can just be funnier, if I can just, you know, tell her this uh, story that paints me as Mr. Wonderful, she's going to like me. And yeah, no, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but the biggest glaring problem with that is it's missing the most important component of dating, of attraction, of getting girls, which is sexual tension. That's something that a lot of, um, you know, these like sort of generic advice, advice you read in magazines or maybe advice you got from your friends or, you know, definitely advice you got from your mom lacks because no one really has the balls to come out and say what really establishes attraction between men and women. So it's this idea of sexual tension, which is essentially making a woman feel something, something very primal. Horniness. <laughs> Horny. Yeah, exactly. I, I was even trying to sugarcoat it there and, and, and you nailed it. It's, it's this feeling of horniness that a woman's going to feel that when she feels horny, yeah, all that other stuff that you heard before, commonality, all that stuff, that, that stuff's great, but really anything would work at that point. It's almost think about yourself when you've seen just a drop dead gorgeous girl and she's half naked and she's in front of you. If you've ever had that experience, you know, maybe um, a girl that you know, maybe at a strip club, maybe even, you know, when you were in a sexually aroused state, think about your yourself and how your mind works. It's not, it's not thinking, oh wow, this girl is so much in common with me, I like her. It's, oh my God, I'm so turned on, I want this girl so bad right now. And that's the feeling you want to give women. Yeah, because when, when she has that feeling, nothing else matters. You can be too old for her, you can be not her type physically, but if she's horny, right? Her primal desire takes over and she makes herself available. You don't really have to do much because that's when she starts like leaning into you and you just get that thing like it's on. Uh, so the big question is, how do you do it? Well, the first thing you do is you stop focusing on trying to get her to like you. Because uh, first off, we, Rob, as Rob said, it doesn't establish any sort of sexual tension. It doesn't get her horny. And it even has the, uh, the negative backlash of making you come across as a little needy, a little try hard. Um, she starts thinking like, this guy is trying really hard to impress me. And when a girl senses you're trying to impress her, she starts looking for reasons to disqualify you. Um, on the other hand, uh, what you should be thinking is, how do I get her horny? So the second step is, okay, after you've stopped trying to impress her, what do you do? You use the right words. You use words that get her thinking about sex, that get her in that mood. And you may be thinking to yourself, words, how, you know, how does that work? Well, the easiest way I can explain it to you is think of a book like Fifty Shades of Grey. Right? 50 million copies sold. Women around the world are masturbating to that book. There's not one picture in it. All it is is words, right? But these words get her primal things flowing. You know, it gets her juices flowing. It gets her thinking about sex. And it allows her to go into her own imagination. And that's where a woman gets most turned on, is in her own imagination. So when you use the right words and you casually put them in a conversation, she, her, her brain, you know, because her hormones are going, her brain starts thinking about sex. And she doesn't know why, because you're, these words are, most of the time they're innocent words. They're not words that are gonna set off alarms. Like you're not gonna be saying sex, you know? Um, it's very subtle, innocent words that slip in under her radar, but you're standing in front of her and she's feeling this, you know? She's, she's getting turned on and she's associating those feelings to you. So the big question is, what are the words? Well, Rob and I sat down and we rummaged through about, about 600 erotic novels. And we, we talked to women and we got a really good idea of what these words were. And on the next page, we're gonna kind of reveal what they are. And more importantly, how do you use them in a way that isn't obvious? Because the last thing you wanna do is just be like, hey, you know, saying words and, and having her kind of go, you know, this doesn't make sense. You're naturally gonna slip them into the conversation. So on the link below, you can check it out.